Welcome to 60 Second Marketing. I'm Sandro Galindo, and along with my co-host Liz Hirsch, we are the only podcast that delivers digital marketing help in areas of websites, SEO, reputation management, and so much more in less time than it takes to pay a toll booth with cash. Today, Liz will tell us what is the role of your website in the selling process. I'm working on a website redevelopment project, and this is one of those rare instances where the client provides a ton of content for us to use. With most projects, it's like pulling teeth to get any insight. I mean, we write the content on behalf of our clients, but but just getting any insight can be a challenge sometime. Um, but with this particular client, uh, they provided a ton of content, and I could see us quickly falling into a trap that many service-based businesses uh, fall into. And this is uh, where you really have to remember where your website fits into the selling process. So at the top of the sales funnel, providing educational information via your blog is really important. Um, you know, I consider this to be general information about the services you provide, the industry, and what consumers should start to consider. I mean, at, at that point, I think it's absolutely okay to include tons of information. But when website visitors move away from your blog and they start to explore some of your specific services, I am not a fan of listening listing every single detail about your service or a bundle of services. Most of the time it ends up being a laundry list of features and I think you really run the risk of the potential client thinking, okay, do I really want to hire them? Could I do this myself? Could I find someone cheaper? The point I'm trying to make is rather than go overboard and list all of the details and the features, uh, focus on benefits and push them to schedule a consultation with you and you can continue the selling process because again, your website is just one step in the selling process. Um, obviously, this is this whole episode is geared towards service-based businesses, not so much for you know a product-based business or a restaurant. Think very carefully about the journey that the customer or potential customer is going to take. Um, give them the right information at the right time. Don't overload them with useless information when they're probably making some tough decisions about whether or not they want to call you. Um, and, and don't forget that some of that face-to-face -face selling is, is really important if you're a service-based business. Great points, Liz. The majority of the people visiting your website are on a mobile phone and many times they're just at a traffic stop. So you need to get your point across quickly. You don't need to oversell them. There's opportunity to do that later on if you need to. Thanks for those points, Liz, and thank you for joining us. You'll find us where you find your favorite podcast. If you like what you hear, we'd love a review. you also find us on Twitter, Instagram, our Facebook group, and now our new website, 60secondmarketing.net. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.